Have you ever had a big decision that you needed to make, whether in your personal life, in your business, and it was one of those decisions that has ramifications that can't be undone very easily. It would pay massive dividends if you make the right decision, and it could be catastrophic if you make the wrong decision. Have you ever had one of those decisions? Have you ever had that stress that keeps you up in the middle of the night that makes you go back and forth and think like, oh, maybe I need to do this, maybe I need to do that? Maybe you've used the decision journal, you've used one of the, the prioritization frameworks that I've taught you in the other podcasts to, to think through this, this decision and still you come to the, the conclusion that you're not really sure what to do. You don't, you don't know what the right answer is. And so in lieu of making the decision, you just kind of keep delaying, trying to collect more information, hoping there's this eureka moment or this feeling, this punch in your gut that makes you go, yes, this is the right decision for me. And somehow, some way, that decision just never, it never actually manifests. It never comes. And what does happen is you wait so long to make the decision that the decision is either taken off the table or it's made for you. And usually when a decision's made for you, it's not made in the most optimal way. I see this a lot with entrepreneurs as they start to play the game at a bigger and bigger level. The quality of the decisions that they make, because they apply so much leverage, the number of zeros that they're dealing with and the number of people whose lives are posit uh, potentially affected both positively or negatively, they, they start to second guess. They start to get analysis paralysis. And what I wanna share with you today is that it's less important in pretty much all areas of life and in your business, it's less important that you make the right decision than it is that you make the decision right. So here's what here's what that means. Often in life, in this kind of divergent game that we play, there isn't a, a right or a wrong answer. In a lot of cases, there's actually a spectrum of right and wrong answers, right? And it's it's kind of spread across this, this spectrum of probability of like likelihood of succeeding or failing, right? So I think that's number one. It's just to recognize there is no right decision. There is no singular right decision. But the problem is in life, we don't get to know what that right decision was. Even in hindsight, even if there was a right decision, we couldn't possibly calculate it. Even with all the right information and uh, perfect knowledge, we still couldn't calculate all the different variables that could play out in any given situation to say that was definitively the right decision. You should have made it. And yet we, we spend so much time spending our wheels in pursuit of that answer, that, that decision that just doesn't exist. It won't stop us from seeking it though. More important than though, as an entrepreneur is speed of decision, speed of execution, the ability to move forward so that we collect information and uh, that's like more relevant and timely. And then we use that information to set the sails, turn the rudder and, and, and steer the ship. But you can't steer a ship that's not moving. Right? You can't, st the, the, the boat that's not moving forward or backwards cannot be turned. If it's sitting still in that analysis paralysis phase, it's not, no decision is going to make a difference. So more important than making the right decision is that you make the decision right. And what that means is that we need to have a process through which we think through, how do I make a decision? What are the variables that matter here? How do I separate my emotional self from my logical self? And how do I get as objective as possible in this decision to make sure that I'm making the decision in the right way? And fixating more on that than the outcome of the decision. After all, Charlie Munger said, um, you know, you can make the wrong decision and still win the lottery. That doesn't mean it was a good decision. And I, I often think about this scene in Star Trek where Jean-Luc Picard is talking to Data, who Data is this human cyborg uh, creation, and he lost this game of four-dimensional chess. It's a strategic game, and Data's like, I did everything right. I made the right decisions, and still I lost. And Luke, Jean-Luc Picard said, you know, in life you can do everything right and you can still lose. That's not weakness. That's life. And in the same way in life, you're going to make decisions the right way and they will not play out how you wanted them to. And that doesn't matter. What matters is was the quality of your thinking leading up to the decision, was that sound? And if it wasn't, then it doesn't really matter what the outcome was, you made a bad decision. And on the, on the other side of this, you can make the best decision given the information that you have. And it might not play out the way you thought it would or how, how, you, how it sh you wanted it to, right? That doesn't mean it was the bad decision. 
And that is a very important distinction. So instead of pursuing and moving towards these goals in life that are unobtainable, which is you can't make the right decision in every single situation, but you can make each decision right. And that starts by having a process through which you objectively measure the quality of the decision. You go through it and you try to eliminate as many of the variables to uncontrollables as you can. You consider the probabilities and then you make the most informed decision that you can. But that doesn't necessarily come from collecting more information. So there might be a very big decision that you need to make in your life and your business right now that you're just waiting to collect more information before you feel comfortable making it. And in a lot of cases, 80% of knowledge of a situation is enough to make a decision the right way. You don't need to get to 100%. In fact, I would say the marginal gains going from 80% certainty to 100% certainty are far outweighed by the amount of time it would take to get to that degree of certainty. And even once you have 100% certainty or 98% certainty, there is still no guarantee that that is going to be the right decision. And so you're better off making the faster decision at 80% certainty or 70% certainty, and then iterating quickly along the way. And I share this with you because the number one tool that you have at your disposal as an entrepreneur is your ability to make good decisions quickly and then execute. It is the master skill in this game. And so I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if you're if you're struggling with anything right now, struggling to make the right decision, but instead I want you to just to flip the table and think about it through the lens of, am I making the decision right? Go do that and then crush the game. That's it, it's that simple. All right, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. We'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, stay hyper-focused, my friends.